Okay, let's go ahead and start up with some of the practice problems from Unit 3. Now, this is Lesson 1 from Unit 3 in 7th grade um, illustrative or illustrative math. Illustrative just does not sound right to me, but whatever. I don't care. But um, number 1, estimate the side length of a square that has a, a 9 centimeter long diagonal. Now, what we did now this has to do with the lesson today so um, this this directly relates to the concept of proportionality that we've determined and we were looking at the side length and the diagonal and uh, not just the side lengths but like I mean the side lengths <clears throat> when you add them all up that adds up to the perimeter and uh, long story short here we got um, I believe we got a constant proportionality and I don't think this is exact, but we got a constant proportionality that was around like 2.8, 2.8, which, you know, the perimeter of the circle, um, not the circle, but this, the perimeter of the square had that, you know, with respect to the diagonal, there was a 2.8 um, factor. You know, you can see whatever the, the diagonal is, uh, if you multiply that by 2.8, you're going to get the perimeter of that square or something close to it, not perfect, but you're gonna get something pretty close to it. So that's what we have to do for this one. We just have to do nine times 2.8. Nine times 2.8, which is, I think, what, 25.2. Uh, okay, now this is asking about the side length. Now the number that we just got, that value that we just got right there, that's perimeter. That's the perimeter. So that's the perimeter of the square that has that uh, that respective diagonal. So we just have to divide that. Ooh, that's terrible. But we just have to divide that by four. So you got 25.2 divided by four. So let's do the division there. And what do you get? You get like a thousand or something. I always say that. And you get about 6.3, okay? So 6.3 centimeters. All right, now select, uh, for number two, select all quantities that are proportional to the diagonal length of a square. And again, this kind of goes back to the lesson as well. And one thing is for sure, and one thing is for certain, is that uh, perimeter, is going to be, you know, when, when you look at a graph, for instance, you look at a graph and you look at the, the, you know, the side length compared to the perimeter, it is going to be straight as an arrow. Hence, it's proportional, right? That's good. And uh, the side length of a square, uh, that's also going to be straight as an arrow. I'm not saying it's like a different arrow like that, but to look like that. Uh, but the only thing that's not proportional is going to be the area, area of the square. And anything area, really, because, um, you know, when you're doing area of a square, especially, you're squaring things. You're squaring things. So, you know, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, um, you know, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. That is not a proportional relationship. That's going, going to look like probably not doing this perfect, but that's going to look something like that. It's going to, it's going to be nonlinear, you know. It's going to have this upward, you know, progression, of course. It's, if you can graph it, it's going to be a function, you know, if you're wondering that, which you don't have to, but it's a function. Uh, but it's, it's definitely not proportional, okay. So we can cross that one out. The area of a square is the only one of those three that is not proportional. All right, number three. Diego made a graph of two quantities that he measured and said the points all lie on, the, uh, on a line except one, which is a little bit above the line, which means the, court, the quantities can't be proportional. So do you agree? So this, again, this is, this is something we talked about during the lesson in class. 
and you know we're doing these graphs by hand and you're not going to be perfect you know you might have a, a whole bunch of points that just are just really close but you I mean that's actually too perfect when you really think about it but you're going to have you know we're gonna, human error you know we're human beings and they're going to be kind of all over the place you know but for the most part for the most part I'm betting that Diego's information is proportional because all of his points were online except for one. So maybe that just, you can chalk that up to it being, um, you know, just measuring error. Maybe he just rounded weird or he had the ruler just a little bit shifted or something, whatever. But um, that happens. And so when human beings are involved, especially human beings measuring things with rulers, um, yeah, we're not perfect, that's for sure. You know, but that's that's another thing altogether. All right. So <clears throat> I would see I would say it is proportional. All right, that was kinda of weird. All right, I just brought the graph is made by hand. All right, number four. This graph shows that while it was being filled, the amount of water in gallons in a swimming pool was approximately proportional to the time that passed in minutes. So about how much water was in the pool after, this is for question A, about how much water was in the pool after 25 minutes. Okay, so uh, this definitely, I'm getting ahead of myself here, this definitely looks like it's uh, a proportional relationship. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just draw I'm using my drawing tool here. Oh, that's not perfect. That's for sure. But this kind of this kind of goes to say, like, again, th these are human beings measuring taking these measurements and, and doing these things, so there could be a little bit of a, a margin of error there. And that's going to happen, you guys. That's, gonna, that's always going to happen. Uh, but anyhow, back to the question. Uh, letter A says about how much water was in the pool after 25 minutes. Well, 25 minutes is right here. It's halfway between 20 and 30. So I'm just going just to direct my line up there, and I'm going to say it's about right there. And then I'm going to look where the y-axis, gallons, where does that correspond with that part of the graph? So right around there. So it's like, I don't know, it, it's not perfect. Again, I keep saying that because we're just eyeballing this. We're doing this by hand. And I'd say it's probably around 350, you know, some, somewhere around there. So I'll put the approximate sign. So 350 gallons. All right, part B, approximately when were there 500 gallons of water in the pool? Okay, well on the first one we were looking at time and we went up to the graph. This time we're gonna start with gallons. We're gonna start on the y-axis and we're gonna find 500 and just do the same thing. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just take this and just look where it is and there it is, right there and Drop that down right there. So that's about, I don't think that's halfway. So maybe that we could say 34 minutes, 33 minutes and 50 seconds. I mean, this is, this says approximately. So you can just be close. You can be ballpark estimate here. So I'm going to put like around, I don't know, 33 or 34 minutes. I, I don't know. It's, I think that's pretty good if you if you estimated that. Estimate the constant of proportionality for the gallons of water per minute going into the pool. So let's estimate this. So what we're going to do here 
is I'm just going to take the numbers that we have. And again, I, I'm not sure what these are exactly. I mean, I could probably say what that one is. That's pretty good. And this, I could probably tell you what that one is as well. I'm going to use, so let's use those three. So right there we have, that looks like about 150. Right here, this looks like about, so I'm going to call that 10, 150. I'm going to call this one right here 2300. 2300, and I'm going to call this one right here uh, 4600. And to, to find the constant proportionality, remember it is just a matter of taking your y and comparing it to your x, y to x, y divided by the x. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do. Um, 150, well that first one's pretty simple, 150 divided by 10. So the y is 150 divided by 10. That's going to be 15. So that's got a constant proportionality of 15. I'm going to do some more here. Uh, the other one is 300 divided by 20. And oh, that's that's also going to be 15. We need to divide it. So that's probably the estimate here. I'll just do one more for good luck here. You've got uh, what is that? 600. Yeah. 600 divided by 40. And guess what? Spoiler alert! It's 15. It's 15. So uh, I would say probably the only one that's not 15 is probably this one right here because that's probably where um, whoever was doing the measuring, maybe it was just a little bit off. Or perhaps, I don't know, perhaps uh, some water spilled out of the tank. Who knows? Lots of, lots of things could have happened. All right, that's it.